My name is Sydney Wells, and hunting and fishing is in my blood. You may not know it yet, but it's in yours too. Join me as I travel the world on an epic adventure. This is Barcel Outdoors, presented by Rocky Boots. What's up guys? Welcome back to Barstool Outdoors presented by Rocky Boots. I'm Sydney Wells and today is an important day and an important episode for me. I wanted to hop on here and do a good job at telling a story about a deer that means a lot not only to me but also my family. I might not ever shoot a big buck like this ever again. As you can see behind me we have a lot of deer that we've had encounters with, a lot of stories that come with them but this deer specifically we've had a lot of history with and he has a Heck of a story. So this is a tale about an eight-year-old deer that we call Bullwinkle. The year is 2018, and a young Bullwinkle steps out into the cornfield for the first time. Even at his young age, he looked magnificent, and it was obvious that he had great potential. For the look of his frame, he reminded me of a deer that I shot in the same woods. And honestly, it could have been his grandpa. Fast forward to the fall of 2019. At four and a half years old, he was acting like the king of the woods, and he wasn't scared to pick a fight. It was also the first year that we got him on our trail camera, and as soon as we got excited, he vanished. Today has been a very exciting and eventful afternoon where I am sitting out tonight, me and my cameraman Dakota are on this ridge top. Or it's kind of like a cliff. If we fell, we were done so, but we knew this was going to be the perfect spot to ambush a deer tonight, especially a big buck during rut. They're going back and forth underneath us when this is a big bedding area. We've got a creek bottom, and that's exactly what happened. Not even about, I would say, 30 minutes being down here. We've seen two big shooters, very nice deer. This one that we just saw literally took my breath away. It's this is the biggest buck I've seen so far this year, 2021. And he was super wide and he was on a doe. You could tell he was like going back and forth like a dog on a trail, on a blood trail. He was on a doe going back and forth, left and right. And as he was going up the trail, I tried to grunt on him, but he wasn't, he wasn't looking at me. Those were some big, big bucks. That was a big deer that just came through here. I'm excited. I knew it was a shooter, but I didn't even recognize that the buck was actually Bullwinkle. For the next year, he was all over our trail cameras and turned into an absolute giant. And just as we thought we had him patterned, we got a call from our neighbor that Bullwinkle had been shot and they hadn't recovered him. To our surprise, he showed up on our trail camera a few days later, and that was the last time we laid our eyes on him in 2021. It's fall of 2022 and we're in the full swing of the rut here in central Illinois. Dad and I are sitting deep into the woods where we've been seeing a lot of action and sign. And today, there must be a couple of hot does in the area because the bucks have been running around like crazy. As you can tell, we have a lot of little Louis in this area. One after the other, they run on by chasing after a hot doe.
All right, guys, so we're back at the truck. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes, and we climbed down from the tree stand right away. Didn't look for any blood, didn't want to spook him, and uh, he had no idea what happened, so he wanted to keep it that way. It was a fatal shot. We shot a mechanical ra Grim Reaper mid body, which is it's gonna be fatal. So we want to give him time, let him have time to expire. It's about to snow actually, as well. And uh, we're gonna come back in six hours, and start looking for him. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, today might be one of the best days of my life. I know that might sound a little ridiculous because it's over a dang deer, but today was so excellent with me and my dad in the stand because I shot Bullwinkle, who is an eight-year-old mature whitetail who my dad has been after for three years. I mean, I'm after him too, but I've only seen him on a trail cam, so he didn't make me all shaken up until he stepped out and I had about 10 seconds to make it happen. And he's over here and I am so excited. Check out this king, an absolute king of the timber. And I shot it with my bow, which makes me so much happier. Oh, look at him. He's a giant and he's a little stiff, a little stiff, but it's cold. Meat's going to be great. We gave him some time. We wanted to let him lay. And by golly, he wasn't even maybe a hundred yards from the stand dead. And I'm happy we let him lay too. Cause it gave him time to die. He had no idea what happened. Nice peaceful death, quick. And here he is. I can't believe it. So we wanted to get out of the stand. We saw a buck running around. Not later than 10 minutes later, saw a buck to our left, headed south. And so I grunt called, he stepped out and in 10 seconds, I was freaking out. I wasn't even, didn't even have time to get all adrenaline rush or nervous cause it happened so fast. I'm so happy right now. This is one of the most amazing moments of my life. <laughs> Big old mature buck, an eight year old buck, and we watched him grow. My friend Dakota has passed on him about three years ago. He's telling the story earlier, and my dad was like, you better not shoot him because he could blow up into a really neat deer. Good thing he didn't. Because I came in three years later and put the smack down on him. It's kind of sad because it's, it's over. The big journey's over. He's eight years old. That's an old, that's an old deer. Uh, if you're a bow hunter, you know. So we, uh, we cherish our bucks, especially when they get to be these age. And we're really excited when we get the opportunity to harvest them. Just like six pack, it's just, it's exciting, but it's also sad in a good way. Well, shout out to Rocky Boots, my presenting sponsor. They uh, gear me up for all my hunting trips and honestly, I couldn't do it without them. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting and always interacting with all my posts and stories and videos. I really appreciate your support and thanks for watching Barstool Outdoors. Till next time, maybe I'll get another big old buck down. But maybe this time I'm leaving Illinois.